1300 Quince Orchard Boulevard, on the second floor, Cross Street, First Field Road. The sick person, BLS. Ambulance, 799, respond on 7, Bravo. Box area, 823. Time is 923. You head out to the unit and you see that you've got a sick person. BLS at 1300 Quince Orchard Boulevard on the second floor. You note in the description that the caller's not on site and that there's some abdominal pain in question here. It also states that this is a family member that has the abdominal pain and that the calling party is en route with about a 10 minute ETA. While responding, you're undoubtedly considering a great number of things. Scene safety, the number of patients, the nature of the call, and equipment needed. But I guarantee you, you've never thought of this. You and your partner are guided to a well-appointed office on the second floor. Staff inform you once you reach the office that a new co-worker of theirs needs some help. Now what? How are you going to communicate with your patient? Is there any hope of understanding what's going on? The language line, it's now more mobile than ever. In Montgomery County, we use a company called Siricom. In business since 1995, Siricom provides language line services throughout the United States, including many other PSAPs. They speak over 100 languages 24 hours a day, so you can be sure they speak your language too. How does it work? Well, on connection, a choice is made for the language desired. Your call is then routed to any number of available translators within the United States through a seamless digital connection. The translator will identify themselves through their operator ID and the language they speak. They will ask you to go ahead. Is it really that easy? Yeah, yes, actually it is. Your discussion between you and the patient will then be translated in real time, back and forth. You should speak to the translator as if you're speaking directly to the patient. This will make it easier for the translator to properly phrase your conversation. So who pays for this? Well, think of the language line as a timed resource like the old long distance telephone charge. You could also think of it when cell phones were charged for by the minute. Montgomery County pays this per minute charge. So remember, use it for official business only. How do we access it? Well, we now have two methods for language line access. Direct dial from your Zello mobile device contact list or the phone patch using ECC as the connection. The direct dial method is pretty easy. You choose the pre-programmed language line contact in your Zello mobile device. Once connected, you press one for Spanish, which is the most common language spoken in Montgomery County, other than English. You can enter zero for all others through the main menu of the language line. The translator will identify themselves by their operator ID and the language they interpret. This method, through the direct dial, is not recorded. The phone patch through ECC is just as easy. The direct ECC phone number is 240-773-4700. Once answered, you'll identify yourself and your unit and state the need for the language line, including which language is needed. The ECC operator, career or civilian, will connect you and remain on the line with you. 
Phone patches made by the ECC are recorded per the PSAP policy. Which method should you choose? Direct access versus ECC access, the direct access method is the preferred choice. It requires fewer moving parts, as the number and access codes are pre-programmed on your Zello mobile device. ECC access involves a more complicated three-way call, using ECC as the pivot point. Direct access requires less input from you, the user, while you may be performing patient care. ECC is familiar with using and navigating their language line menu. Most common languages are preset on their computers. This method at ECC requires a bit more time than setup, but it does have the benefit of being recorded and replayable, even if your call is disconnected. You should keep in mind that Syracom's translation service is not recorded. Here are some tips to avoid confusion. While the translators are well versed in what we do, it's suggested to keep your phrasing short and to the point. Your scenes can sometimes be chaotic, so do your best to keep the translation between two people. Care must be taken when using a translator and the speaker phone. Voices in the background may alter a translation without intention. And always use a scribe to record the conversation. Some final thoughts. Many of the Syracom translators are native speakers, and that's what makes them so good. But if you aren't sure what was said, or it doesn't seem to make sense, ask a clarifying question. Languages that we don't understand seem spoken very fast, and this translated conversation may be fast as well. So be prepared for this. Write it down. Have a separate scribe to write this all down. This will ensure complete and correct documentation. By using the language line, you may pick up something that's said only one time, and that may save a life. Thank you.